Hello jugglers and smugglers, my name is Joseph Moore and you guys are about to get another math lesson. Now you guys may have thought that last video was enough of it, but I'm gonna give you another one on wave harmonics, so uh, get ready because we're about to start. Shrinking down, 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 down. Okay, so now that I'm sufficiently shrunken down and there's enough space above my head, I'm going to discuss the harmonic series first. A harmonic series is simply uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, yeah, that, except you take the reciprocal, so it's 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth plus 1 sixth plus 1 seventh plus, one seven plus etc. An interesting thing about this series is that it does not converge, which means it does not reach a finite limit. As you keep on going, it approaches infinity, which is kind of weird to think about because at the sufficiently high numbers, you're getting pretty close to adding nothing. You're adding like one over a billion. You know, that's very close to nothing. And yet the series is infinite. Now in math, there are tons of examples which we could use harmonics to solve. Take for example, two crossed ladders. There are two walls, let's say in an alley, and one at the each corner of where the wall hits the pavement, there is a ladder and that goes up to a certain height uh, on the side of the wall. Let's take for example, one is five feet up the wall, one is 10 feet up the wall. Take into account that the width of the alley does not actually matter because if you scrunch it down, each point on the plane would uh, be proportional so and since the intersection is only at one point hypothetically we're imagining uh, impossibly thin ladders here the point would be the same no matter what so let's say you wanted to calculate the height of that point where they intersected well you know that it's somewhere below the lowest one obviously there's no point above the where the lowest one is hitting the wall that it could hit because all the rest of the ladder is below that point but it's above halfway down from that lowest ladder's height on the wall. But you don't know exactly where it is. So I'm telling you, you could use harmonics to solve that. Because one over that point, or the reciprocal of that point, which is the harmonic of it, is equal to one over the height of the one ladder plus one over the height of the second ladder. Now rearranging this all, you get the product of the heights of the ladder over the sum of the heights of the ladder is equal to the height of the ladder. What you're basically doing is uh, adding them to and then taking the reciprocal. This is a prime example of wave harmonics and has real life connotations to it if you want to quickly figure out it for whatever reason. But that value right there, product over sum, appears tons in when you do math for you know, whatever reason. Take for example, two strings held in a series. In physics, springs have a constant k, which is basically the force of an object over the distance uh, it produces, and it's springs constant. So if there's more force on an object, then the greater the spring will stretch. The, uh, the k value for two strings hung in a series is the product of the two strings k values over the sum of the two, which is going to give you a value much less than the original one. Okay, so here's an example which I think you might enjoy. It's about uh, average speed uh, with a given distance and two set distances. Basically, this is how it goes. Imagine you have to drive down to the store, which is, say, three miles away. You drive down 30 miles, uh, then you realize that you forgot your wallet, so then you speed back at, say, 60 miles per hour. Back to your house. Now, an average, a typical math problem would be asking, what was your average speed on that journey? Well, what you can do is take the harmonic mean of these two values, which is kind of complicated. I'll, it's, I'll display it right there. But I'm going to simplify it for you. Basically, what you do is take the product of these two speeds and over the sum of the speeds. And then you multiply by the number of times you travel that distance, which is two. Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed this math lesson. Hope it's uh, enlightened you into the finer points of math. Maybe one that you've never even thought about before. So, uh, that's all that I really wanted to say to you guys. Um, comment down below if you like it. Like if you like it. Subscribe if you like it. Bye!